In this video, we're going to use Carroll diagrams to organize lists of numbers according to their divisibility. So let's say that we have this big list of numbers and we're being asked to sort them by their divisibility. Let's say that we want to figure out if these numbers are divisible by 3 or not, or if they're divisible by 8 or not. So one way that we can do that is through the use of a Carroll diagram. So here's a basic for format for it. So what I'm going to put up here in this box is I'm going to say that this is the box for numbers that are divisible by 3. And next to it, this is going to be the box for numbers that are not divisible by 3. On the other side, we said we were talking about 2 and 8, or 3 and 8, sorry. So this box will be divisible by 8. And then you get the idea, this one will be not divisible by 8. So what we want to do now is we want to organize these numbers depending on whether they're divisible by 3 or not, and divisible by 8 or not. So let's start with the random one. Let's start with 6. So 6 is divisible by 3, but it's not divisible by 8. So we're going to put it here because it's divisible by 3, but it's not divisible by 8. So that's where it's going to go. Let's do a couple more examples. Next up, let's do, uh, let's do 56. So 56 is not going to be divisible by 3, but it is divisible by 8. So that means it's going to go in this box. And maybe you're thinking what happens if we have a number that's not divisible by either, let's say 2. That's just going to go in this box. So if I look up, it's not divisible by 3. And if I look to the left, it's not divisible by 8. So we use Carroll diagrams to organize sets of information based on whether those numbers are divisible or not.